CPPNPA. As for the record, Mr. President, the CPPNPA has been declared as a terrorist organization by the European Union, the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, and a number of other countries, Mr. President. This representation, Mr. President, uh, would have wanted to not just interpolate, but to be more enlightened on this issue, but it will take so much time. I simply want to state, Mr. President, that believing in an ideology which may be different from the majority, in layman's terms, believing in policies and philosophies which may be left of center, so to speak, does not make anyone subversive. In fact, in 1992, it was former President Fidel V. Ramos who repealed the anti-subversion law. Having said that, Mr. President, I have pushed for the resumption of peace talks. We know that the comprehensive agreement on socioeconomic reforms um, is on the agenda, and this was a legacy of former President Ramos, and I hope that the peace talks can be revived, can ensue, so that the common goal of leaders of our country, whether we are elected in the Senate or even working with a grassroots organization deemed subversive or left by government but not really proven, can work together towards more equity, peace, and authentic, real reforms in the countryside. I will never judge Ched Chair Popoy de Vera, just as I will never judge his sister. I do not know the issue, and I do not know her personally. All I can say is that having celebrated National Heroes Day yesterday, there are many heroes in our midst whom we see and who we do not see or know. Even heroes who may be associated with the CPP. I declare that I have worked with the National Democratic Front and I am not ashamed of it. I have worked with them, not for them, in my role as a journalist, along with then minority leader, Aquilino Pimentel. As a young senator, I have worked for the release of captives, both in the police and the military establishment, from the mountains of Davao to the jungles and mountains of Sorsogon in Bicol and in Lianga Surigao Sur. I have agreed with them on many subject matters close to our heart, and I'm certain that our brilliant lawyer from Cavite will agree that all the elements, the four aspects of CASER must be pushed. Having said that, Mr. President, I would like the anti-terror law to be reviewed. I recall, and I hope my vote was, was uh, recorded correctly when I was in the House of Representatives at the height of the pandemic because I did not vote in its favor. And I do not recall what law or what pronouncement of government has declared the Communist Party of the Philippines or similar organizations, movements, beliefs, associations could be declared as what? Enemies of the state? It's so difficult to identify that when if you see, if we see and study what they actually believe and want, it is social justice. It is really uplifting our people from poverty for decades without, without bearing arms, of course. And the disposition of forces is part of the four elements of CASER. I am in the military establishment. I studied GSC and NDCP. I proudly belong to the AFP Reserve Corps. 
being a full colonel. I fully respect and associate myself with some of the views and the concerns of the good senator. However, I also would not pass judgment and label, perhaps, certain organizations whose beliefs may be different from the general majority. But when we look at it, we bear similar Welcome back. Uh, objectives, vision, dreams for our people. I say that not in contrary to my good friend Senator Tolentino's manifestation today or those who wish to associate with them. I stand here as someone who has worked with the so-called left of this country and who has admired many of those who share the same vision for a country who may belong to those who are considered left of center. And there is nothing wrong with that, Mr. President. It does not make anyone subversive. In fact, there's no subversion law. Now, if we are called terrorists for believing in certain beliefs which are considered left, then that's a longer debate altogether. All I'm saying is that while I appreciate the manifestation of the good senator from Cavite, I also believe that heroes like Dr. Jose Rizal, who was considered subversive by the Spanish, who was killed in Laguna, is our national hero. <laughs> Having said that, Mr. President, I thank the good senator from Cavite for raising this very important issue that has propelled discussions and emotions. I do not totally disagree with you, but I think this is a very important subject of discussion and we will never completely agree with each other. That's why we value our democracy and that is the reason why we are the Philippine Senate. I will leave it at that, Mr. President. Ang gusto ko lang sabihin po, maraming bayani, hindi man natin kilala, maaring nasa autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao, maaring nasa bundok, at hindi alam kung paano bibigyan ng kapayapaan ang ating bansa, pero isa lang ang ating adikain na matanggal na natin, ang matagal na nating nararanasang kahirapan at marating na natin, the long evasive peace, it has evaded us for decades on. Thank you, Mr. President. I, uh, this is not an interpolation. That this humble representation would like to be associated in all the issues being raised by the good gentleman from uh, Cavite and Tagaytay City. Uh, Lahat ng laman ng kanyang privilege speech, uh, Mr. Uh, President, I am uh, fully supportive of it. Uh, because alam naman natin na naging issue yan ngayon, yung security. Ang purpose naman niya doon na kailangan i-declare natin yung ating mga uh, relatives na nasa terrorist organizations. Hindi para gipitin yung tao na nagdi-declare, kundi for the security uh, security uh, organizations to classify that this person ay merong merong uh, kapatid or uh, anak na nasa uh, terrorist organization para alam nila how it treat ito lalong lalo na sa atin sa gobyerno like for example cabinet uh, member uh, supposed to be that cabinet uh, member is given the highest the level of uh, security clearance because uh, secretary siya. But din again, pag malaman ng security uh, community na may kapatid pala ito na nasa kabila, din din know how to treat. Kailangan uh, siguro pwedeng ilimit natin yung uh, information na ibigay natin dito, lalong-lalo na yung uh, mga top secrets dahil nga baka merong 
mangyari na unwillingly, unwillingly ito'y maa-access ng kanyang kapatid na nasa kabila at magagamit ito against us. So, yun lang siguro ang purpose niya, Mr. President. Again, nothing is wrong. Sinabi nga ni, ni uh, Senator Amy Marcos kanina, yung uh, sitwasyon ng Sumil Brothers. Yung si General Sumil ay aming superintendent sa PMA. Pero uh, sumalangit na yung kanyang kaluluwa. Patay na po siya. Napakagaling yun na opisyal. At uh, napakagaling na piloto. In fact, he, uh, he was the uh, pilot, presidential pilot of uh, then uh, President uh, Ferdinand Marcos, uh, Mr. President. And uh, napakagaling niya. But wala siya magawa. Yung kanyang brother ay naging malaking personality doon sa CPP-NPA. Just beyond his control, Mr. President. Pero at least, alam ng security community na mayroon siyang brother na nasa kabila. So that is why the reason, of course, ng, ni Senator Tolentino na i-declare natin yan, kung alam mo, kung alam mo, i-declare mo para alam ng security community paano ka i-treat. Alam naman sabihan, ipapaalam namin sa iyo na Meron kaming dinidevelop na mga missile system dito na mga drones na pwedeng titirahin yung mga kalaban. Hindi ka dapat maka-access ng uh, mga top, uh, top secret uh, informa information, Mr. President. So that's all. I uh, just would like to support my uh, partner, Senator Tolentino, sa kanyang uh, privilege speech. Uh, that's all, Mr. President. Thank, thank, thank you, you very much.